If you want to level up in cybersecurity and eventually become a manager, a director, a VCISO at the top of your game, I'm going to tell you how. But you have to stick around for the whole video because every piece in this conversation matters. And it matters a lot, especially the one at the end. I like to tell people I'm a jack of some trades, but I'm a master of none. I can't even tell you that I'm a jack of all trades because truth is, I'm not. I like learning new things. I learn something and I move on. Sometimes it's completely unrelated, the stuff that I'm learning compared to what I learned before that. I've always avoided to go down deep rabbit holes with narrow vision, but I also have this plethora of useless information in my brain. I'll just give you an example. I can talk to you about bouncing a small five watt portable ham radio signal off of a satellite in space, so I can talk the whole way across the world, but you can only do that for a couple minutes a day because of the way the earth rotates. I know, weird information. I'm a pilot and can talk to you about different classes of airspace, what makes an airplane fly, the way that you have to communicate when you are flying in an airplane. I'm also a scuba instructor and I can talk to you about how slow you have to come up how slow you have to ascend from a dive or a deep dive so that you don't get decompression sickness, also known as the bends, which many of you may have heard of. I can also have a full conversation with you about how to lower the bounce rate on your website and how it will affect your SEO, your search engine optimization, if you lower the bounce rate on your website. I'm not a master of any of these that I'm talking about, but I can definitely have a full conversation with you about any of these topics, as well as a ton of other information. This is the approach that I took in my cyber cybersecurity career and technology journey. I've learned things, and then I've learned something else, sometimes what some might think is completely unrelated. For example, I learned about packet analysis, which is how to inspect and analyze TCP IP packets so that I can tear them apart and decipher what communication is happening. After that, I studied PCI compliance. WordPress always interested me, so I learned how to build websites for companies. Afterward, I heard of this tool called Nmap, which everyone was saying was really cool and for hacking, so I bought a book and I learned about it. Wireless technology always intrigued me, so I figured out how to shoot wireless literally 50 miles across the sky using ubiquity equipment. I didn't even know that that could be done. Over the years, I used my knowledge to land a job in defensive security doing intrusion detection. After doing that for a while, learning the offensive side came after that, which led me to penetration testing and vulnerability management. I then found myself advising clients on PCI because I understood many of the controls, which then led to becoming a PCI QSA for multiple organ organizations. So I would fly around the world inspecting their security to make sure that they were compliant and securing the credit cards that they were taking very securely. Eventually, I was able to take everything that I learned over the years and start working as a VCISO. I worked at different contracts. The VCISO stands for Virtual Chief Information Security Officers. So I did contracts to help companies align their security posture with their business to make sure that they could protect it very well. Listen, absolutely none of this came from me being an expert at anything. I have no degree. I have only had a couple certs over the years, and honestly, the ones that I had were useless. However, my process helped me become very well-rounded. If you want to become a leader, go down some rabbit holes, but limit how deep you dig in those rabbit holes. Fill your knowledge bucket by exploring all of the rabbit holes instead of getting lost in just one. I always like to say, learn a little bit about a lot instead of a lot about a little. The more knowledge that you have, the more breadth of information that you can understand and talk to people helps you understand different departments, different technicians, different things that they have to do in their daily job that you can actually have conversations about those things with them, which will then lead you to being able to help strategize, manage, and direct. All of these things are extremely important if you want to become a successful security or technology expert that can eventually help 
people with their strategy and help them do the best they can do in their organization.